Good morning. It is Monday, April 6th, 30 degrees, a little brisk for my liking, but it is a beautiful day. The sunrise was absolutely beautiful. And I'm just gonna take you along for another day in my life. So come with me. This morning, my father-in-law picked up fertilizer. So I'm gonna tag along and learn about that process and watch him spread the fertilizer. or not but he was stopping about halfway through the field and that is because where the fodder is a little bit taller is where we had our cattle grazing all fall and he's already done this side of the field he had it soil tested in the fall and based off the recommendations as that came back is what we are placing on the field today I don't know how well you can see this or not, um, but these are the little crystals or the fertilizer that we were spreading um, on the ground. And then those will get worked into the soil. In case you're wondering, he did go much slower when I was on there and I am wearing ear protection. The seatbelt hasn't been installed yet on the fender, but like I said, he was going slow. So Ross came into the field to pick me up. We're just heading back on the Kubota and picking up rocks along the way. So we are picking up stones now. These can really wreak havoc on combine and other equipment. So we are picking all of the rocks that we find along the way up. So my husband's family has been farming the same ground for over 160 years. And we often joke that one of the best crops that they produce is rocks. <laughs> but seriously, where do they all come from? But seriously, where do they all come from? Can I just say again how thankful I am for the farm? Not a house in sight, not a soul in sight but plenty of room to be outside and be active and enjoy this beautiful day.
for this stuff. And then that is the foam that he was talking about. That is just a soap that'll dissolve soon. Kind of looks like cotton candy. So we are all done spreading. So Ross and I are returning the fertilizer spreader to Centera. And for all of you farm people that might have been wondering, and I should have said, but there was potash in this. That is what we were fertilizing. this morning when my father-in-law picked up the fertilizer wagon he took in a gravity wagon so that is what we were hauling home uh, it just had the last of the soybeans so we're gonna unhook that so I am going to take the skid steer up there and help Ross get that backed in to where it needs to go Well, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please do so. It really helps me out, helps support my channel and helps other people be able to see the content as well if you're enjoying it. So subscribe, like it, I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And remember, wash your hands and eat beef.